right, for all those that are interested in learning a little bit more about edit mode, this is for you. So first, I'm going to delete this box. I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to do it to a sphere, because a sphere has a lot of cool things we can do to it. I'm going to hit S to rescale it and make it a little bit bigger. Let me just bring it up here so I have a better view. It's always good to have a great view of your object when you're about to edit. Make sure you select your object, and then to get to edit mode, click tab and then you'll notice the object that you're about to edit will get totally highlighted and you will see all the different parts if i hit tab again i go back to object mode another way to do it is come way down here and where it says object mode now change it to edit mode okay i prefer to use tab because it's a lot faster so when i'm in edit mode i want to show you these three little icons down here and show you what they do let's do this first one this is a vertex select it allows you to select all the vertexes on your object and that's where all the lines meet so if I select just this vertex let's go up and let's just change it let's just edit a little bit I'm gonna move it out see what it does or move it in see this is how you can really manipulate your object now you can also hold down shift and you can select multiple vertex so you can go around your entire thing and select multiple vertexes and then once again let's just manipulate it and see what happens see we can do stuff like that to it which is pretty cool so command Z, command Z, let's just go back. The next one is edge select, it's this one. This one allows you to select each edge or line. You see these lines and I can do the same thing. Go in, go out. I can even rotate, if I hit R and rotate, see how I'm doing that? You can do that too, which is pretty cool. You can really change things around. Once again, if you want to do select multiple lines, just hold down shift and you can select multiple edges, see? And then do the same thing. You just gotta hold down shift. Command Z, let's backtrack. The last one is face select. If you notice, after I hit face select, you will see a little dot go on each face to help you recognize it. Click on that dot and you select that face. I can bring it in, bring it out, do whatever I want. I can hold down shift and select multiple faces and then do the same thing, see? This is also very good. Let's say I wanna create the, make those holes. If I hit delete and then select faces, it will delete them. 